what we are doing today, we are trying to make a ditch that is going to help us save water to go through the dry season. Christine, the principal farmer, the real life coach, a pass to your smiling destination because a hungry person is always an angry one. Today what we are doing, you've seen me try to trying to dig around to see how we can make a ditch where I'm standing. It's a ditch, we've made uh, something like three feet going down, then in the length it's around four meters. We are going to use it to save water uh, because usually in the dry season we have a lot of sunshine which disturbs us. And this sunshine makes uh, semi-arid areas because I'm farming from an arid area. Northern Uganda is where I'm farming from. So it usually brings a lot of challenges in the community, uh, including famine, hunger, uh, malnutrition, poverty, and things of that kind. But I'm not alone. You've seen me doing a lot of work. I can't do everything alone. I have my neighbor. He's just this side, and he's helping me to accomplish this mission. Uh, what we are doing, we are trying to see how we are going to save this water in the cheapest way possible. Because whenever I come around, I bring you the easiest, the cheapest, the quickest methods of farming. So this kind of a hole we've done, a ditch we've dug, we are going to cover this policy inside. There is a policy in here which we are going to use. We put it inside and we save water. Uh, doing this, we are saving water in the cheapest way possible. Because we are hoping if the rain comes, we've dug the other side, water will be coming straight inside that ditch. Right now it is still raining a bit and we hope to use that water. When water comes in and it fills this whole place, it can co accommodate around 700 liters of water. At least that is something which can enable us to farm better. Uh, construction of such a thing can be a bit hard, but destruction is very easy because we hope to just put back these soils. That is if we find another alternative of saving water. It is a matter of putting back these soils. We remove this polythene, we burn it up, and you find the, uh, the ecology stay healthy, the farming conditions stay healthy, the soils are not affected like whenever you, you are to use things like cement, destruction becomes a bit hard and besides that you find you'll have to create another layer which will be disturbing to destroy but here it's a matter of bringing back the soils you bury everything down and you continue so we shall show you this water if God allows us with enough rain and we fill this whole place as you're seeing up to the other corner if it happens to, f to fill up we shall show you, we shall use this water, we shall stay farming, produce food for the community. And besides that, since it is the cheapest way to save water, the easiest way to save water, subscribe. It's only here where you'll find the cheapest, the easiest, quickest methods of farming. Thank you for farming with Christine. But above all, stay blessed in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ.